This is Jeff Williford with UTTylerPatriots.com here with head men's and women's golf coach King Campbell uh, coming off a successful first place finish at the Rhodes College Fall Classic in Tunica, Mississippi. Uh, coach, uh, last time we talked was before conference last year, the conference tournament. Uh, I know you know you guys had a successful season last year, successful team. Uh, tell us about this year's team, especially after the, your hot start so far this year. Well, this has gotten off to a great start. We uh, played at uh, TJC's tournament a week ago. We finished uh, second by one stroke behind McClendon Junior College, who's the twice defending Division I junior college champion and ranked number one this year. So we felt pretty good going into to this tournament. Uh, we exceeded uh, all of uh, expectations. We just played uh, great. Uh, we won by 16 strokes over three teams that were ranked in the top 10 in the nation and two others that were in the top 15. Uh, it was just a, a tremendous performance by all five of our players. Hey, you mentioned the, the great performance by your players. John Dukes, who uh, won the TJC Invitational last week, uh, came up as runner-up this week uh, and in Mississippi. And when we talked to him last week for the interview, he, he said the most exciting thing he was was just traveling out of state. And so uh, not only did he get to travel, but he, he actually played pretty well. Tell us about the other performances of Jacob Walsh and uh, Joey Pipple and, uh, and Trent Budwine. Well, first of all, John is just playing great. He's uh, been playing well since he got here. He was an All-American Junior College a kid from uh, Ranger that we were able to get. Uh, he's just got a great personality, great temperament on the golf course and he's just playing as well as any kid I've ever had. But the, the, he was supported really well this week. Uh, Jacob won the ASC conference individually last year. I, I sent him out the first tournament to give some other kids a chance to play because I know what Jacob's capable of, and he didn't disappoint me. Uh, Joey Ripples rebounding from a, a pretty rough season last year, but he's looking like the freshman uh, ASC player that he was an all-region player and excited about him. And then Trent, Trent's a new player that we got from uh, Port Natchez. I'd recruited him out of high school. He went to Lamar, red-shirted there. And uh, Trent's one of the better iron players uh, that I've ever had here, especially with his wedge. Uh, and so we're, we're just really excited. And then another freshman, uh, Cody Gonzalez, finished in the top 15. And, and he's a solid player. He's had uh, a good round at TJC and, and played well here. So uh, this is probably, in my six years here, this is probably one of the biggest wins we've ever had. Uh, and also, this particular team is probably the best ball striking team I've ever had at, at my my time at UT Tyler. And that's that's impressive, especially with some of the teams we've had. Um, you guys have the UT Tyler Invitational coming up in a couple of weeks, uh, and then you're going on another trip out of state to Florida. Uh, what well, can you give us a, a little bit about the UT Tyler Invitational? Well, the UT Tyler Invitational is it's now called the Al Jones Memorial Invitational. It's going to be it's named after uh, my best friend who passed away, and um, it's been a significant contributor to the UT Tyler athletic program and the golf program. In fact, our new gymnasium is, is being dedicated and named after him. Uh, so I'm honoring him with the, the name change in the tournament. We have a great Division III uh, field coming. We've got Emory, who's ranked in the top 10, Trinity, who's won a tournament, and then a number of our uh, conference schools will be there as well as a, as a strong women's field. So we're pretty excited about that. That's October 3rd and 4th. Then we leave right after that with the men to go to uh, Golf Week Invitational, which they invite the top 10 teams from the previous year. And so this field will be even stronger than the one we just played at at Tunica. But we're pretty excited about it. Uh, our girls are fixed to go back to Tunica and play in the women's version of the Rhodes Tournament. So they're excited about the trip. So we've got a lot of things happening in the next two or three weeks. All right, Coach, we appreciate your time. If, if the fans want to follow along, they can go to www.uttylerpatriots.com. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you.